Without a microscope when preparing teeth, how do we differentiate between composite and tooth structure, or even from porcelain and tooth structure? That is the question today with webinar questions answered. This question is from my porcelain veneer preparation webinar, and it is from Dr. Bekar. And Dr. Bekar wanted to know, without a microscope, how can we differentiate between the composite and tooth structure? And this would be um, if you're preparing teeth for veneer, like last week I was doing a case preparing teeth for veneers where um, the peg laterals had bonding on them. And I wanted to take off all of the bonding and get down to the enamel, the tooth structure. So I'm not bonding my porcelain veneers to old bonding. So to be able to differentiate this, you need um, ideally high levels of magnification. Now, most of the time loops will work, but a microscope could really help you. Um, for me, it helps definitely having the scope, but not everybody's gonna have a microscope and not everybody has maybe even uh, four times loops. So here's a trick that you could use. You could take the um, preparation surface and if you're not sure if there's some composite here and you think there's enamel here, the best thing to do is just phosphoric acid etch it for 10 seconds, rinse it off, dry it, and the enamel is going to look different than the composite. So the composite will not etch and get frosty looking like the enamel will. So that'll, you'll clearly see if you etch 10 seconds, dry it, like rinse it, dry it, um, you'll clearly see the differentiation between enamel, um, composite, and if you're removing old veneers and they're really conservative veneers where there's still enamel everywhere, but you want to make sure you got all the porcelain off if you were doing a replacement or revision case, um, that's a tough one sometimes too. So again, etching the surface allows you to see the difference between the enamel and the porcelain because the porcelain's not going to etch and get frosty like the enamel will. So this trick will work with both of those situations which can be difficult to distinguish. So um, I didn't talk about this during the webinar. You know, this was a question that was asked that I, we weren't able to answer. Um, can't always answer all the questions. There's actually a lot of good questions. We've been recording them. And um, I'm trying to answer um, as many as I can during these webinar questions answered YouTube videos. So thank you very much for your question. If you'd like to attend the Veneer Prep webinar, I'll put the URL here, right? across here. You can type that in and register for the webinar while it's still available. We'll also place a link to this below YouTube, or you might be watching it on a page with a link. So uh, thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.